Welcome to rpsacademy.com. In this video, we are going to know about the differences between finite verbs and non-finite verbs. Finite verbs. The verbs that change according to the person and number of the subject and the tense of the verb is called a finite verb. For example, Sita sings songs. They sing songs. Ramya sang songs. They have sung songs. Here, observe the all four sentences. In the first sentence, the verb is written sings. This is in present tense. And the subject of this sentence is Sita. This is third person singular. We are using third person singular in present tense and so we added yes to the root form of the verb. That is the change in this sentence. Like that in the next sentence, we just use sing because the subject is third person plural. So we need not to add any yes or yes to the root form of the verb. And in the next sentence, we use the verb sang. Here, it is in the past tense. That's why we use sang. In the last example, we used have sung. This is present perfect tense. In all these sentences, we use only one verb, that is sing. But the sing is changed into different forms based on its subject and number and also tense of the verb. Such type of verbs are called finite verbs. These finite verbs are two types. Those are transitive verb and intransitive verb. Let us discuss one by one. First of all, transitive verb. The verbs that have objects after them are called the transitive verbs. These verbs transfer the action from subject to object. Let us see the example. She ate an apple. She is the subject. An apple is an object. The verb ate transfers the action from subject to object. That's why this is called a transitive verb. A transitive verb must have an object. If there is an object after a verb, such type of verb is called a transitive verb. See the another example. Ravi loves cricket. Here, subject Ravi is there and object cricket is there. Loves is the verb. It has an object. That's why it is called a transitive verb. And then, what is intransitive verb? The intransitive verbs don't have any objects. For example, the birds fly, the dogs bark, the trees grow. In these sentences, we have the subject. First sentence, the birds is the subject and fly is a verb. In the next sentence, the dogs is a subject and bark is the verb. In the third sentence, the trees is a subject and grow is a verb. But after that, there is no object is written. That's why such type of verbs are called intransitive verbs. When there is an intransitive verb in a sentence, there would be no object. The action of the sentence is not transferred from subject to object. That's why these are all called intransitive verbs. There would be no transformation of action. That is all about finite verbs. In the next video, we are going to know about the non-finite verbs. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel.